Tony, Tony, Tony. <laughs> Welcome to the I-95 Morning Show. Good morning. Good to be with you, man. Hall of Famer Tony Dorsett, number 33. Now you're going to have to correct me if I make a mistake here. I will. 77 to 87. You won a Super Bowl, selected to many Pro Bowls. You were the second all-time in rushing when you left the NFL, correct? Exactly. 99-yard touchdown run against the Vikings on Monday Night Football. Just about as famous as a play as you'll ever see. Who was the hardest hitter you ever encountered on the football field? Wow, the hardest hitter? Man, the NFL is full with big time hitters. Um, I, you know, I, I'd say one of the probably the biggest hit that I, that I received, and, and I and I could feel it. You know, because I got knocked out a couple of times, and they were good hits. But I got hit one time with, from a guy that by the name of Charlie Davis. At the time, he was with the old, it was the St. Louis Cardinals at the time, and we were playing in Texas Stadium and. As a runner, I'm always trying to negotiate uh, defenders. And we, I was running towards the sideline where their team was uh, in, in Texas Stadium. And I'm negotiating defenders, and I was at a point where I couldn't negotiate anymore. And so I was going to be at the mercy of this hit <laughs> that was about to be laid upon me. And um, so Charlie Davis was this big de- de- defensive lineman, and he was coming at me. And I could see I could see it coming, man. I, like I said, I... I Negotiating, there was no more negotiating to be done. <laughs> and so all I see is this, this big forearm. It comes, whacks me across my head. He knocks me out when he hits me across my head. And I go backwards and I, I hit turf head first and I come, up, I come back too. And so while I'm walking to the huddle, back to the huddle, our backup tight end, Jay Saldi, who's from the New York area, by the way, White Plains, he, he comes up to me and he, he's, he's like, hey, man, are you okay? You okay? And I looked at him. I said, hell no, I'm not okay. This guy, I said, this man damn near decapitated me. You asking me, am I okay? I said, no, I'm not okay. And so I get into the huddle and I look right into the eyes of Roger Starbuck and I said, Roger. Whatever you do, do not call a play for me. So that was that was probably the bad, the, the hardest hit that I that I felt. When you and your uh, your buddies from your playing days talk about the game today, uh, what do you talk about in terms of what's different about it now as opposed to when you were playing? Attitudes, man. Attitudes, <laughs> attitudes, attitudes. Um, I've, I've talked with a lot of guys. Well, I don't say a lot of guys, but I've talked with guys that would say, you know, if if I'm able to make it. Uh, another year or two, I'm set for life. In other words, you know, they're not laying it all on the line, man. You know, these guys get a hangnail, uh, they get a little pull here, a little, little something there. Uh, they're on the sideline because they're, they're the more so trying to protect their their, their contract and their, and their paycheck instead of just going out there and laying it all on the line. And I, I think that's that's pretty much the, the biggest difference is is attitudes of the players and and obviously the conduct of of the players. Uh, it's a lot different than it was off the field than it was when during my playing time. Emmett Smith dancing. We're going to see Tony Dorsett dancing on TV now or no? Absolutely not. <laughs> 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 let me tell you. Let me tell you. I, you know the year, the, the the season that Jerry Rice did it. I, they they came to me first uh, to 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 participate. I don't know if I was first or not, but I I, I declined. <laughs> I declined, and and I just I just couldn't do it. Uh, my daughters were trying to ask me, Dad, go ahead, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, Dad. I'm like, no, Dad, no. I don't care how much money they dangle out there. The carrot was not big enough for me to go out and embarrass myself. <laughs> no. Is uh is Tony Romo the real deal? Time will tell. You know he's been. A, it's you know I'm hoping he's not a flash in the pan. But you know he he came off like he came off with like gangbusters. You know early early on last season. Then he kind of he kind of he kind of slowed down a little bit. But uh, you know they they're putting people around him uh, to see if he if he's going to be be the real deal or not. I, I like to say he is. He's a very athletic guy. I mean for one thing he I mean it's not just football. I man he can play basketball. He plays tennis. He plays everything he, and he plays it pretty well. Uh, I, from what I've seen, I, I think the potential is there. But you know that game is it's a it's as much mental as it is physical. And if he doesn't get himself, if what happened to him last year does not have an effect on him uh, coming into this season, and I always thought that you know he would be um, uh, a guy that mentally is, that is mentally strong. And I thought you know him you know bobbling that snap last uh, last year for that field goal try in one of the playoff games against Seattle. That he would he would respond to it. So I'm waiting to see just exactly what his response is going to be uh, to them losing that game because of that that particular play. But um, I, I like Tony. I, re- I really do. I like him personally, and I like the, what, what he does on the field, what he brings to the table. On a local level here, we got to ask you a quick question about the Giants and Jets. Michael Strahan, you think he's playing football this year? Or his heart's not in. It? <laughs> 
Get back out there in the field, Mike. We want to see you out there uh, again. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Mike, Mike's, Michael is a, is a great player, obviously. Um, he's gone through some some tough, I guess, personal things that this past offseason with divorce and whatnot. But, you know, I, I, I kind of feel that he will be back out there. You know, he's a veteran player. He don't need to be out there sweating and, and going through those tour days right now anyway. There's rumors Pennington's going to be calling some of his own plays uh, this year from the from the line of scrimmage. What do you think about that? Well, I, I'm, a, I'm a strong advocate for players, uh, quarterbacks, and uh, calling their own plays. I, I think at, at times, you know, you, you, you get, you're scripted a little bit for them, and when they get a chance to, with certain defenses, when when they're in certain certain formations offensively, that you know you can you can audible off into a, to another play or call your own play. Uh, I, I think that's a good thing. I really do. Two big last questions here: Who wins the NFC East? And I think I know the answer to this one. You know, man, you don't have to go too far, man. It's down in the Lone Star State. <laughs> and I ain't talking about the Texans. I'm talking about the Cowboys. Super, Super Bowl predictions. Who goes and who wins? Wow, there'll be two teams. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's uh, you know, I, I, I really don't know. You know, we, we had uh, somewhat of a surprise last year with, you know, uh, Chicago. I mean, I don't think anybody thought that they were going to play the way they did last year and make it all the way to the playoffs like they did. We all thought San Diego was was going was the bomb and they were going to be the team that was going to probably win it all. Um, I'm not sure if I want to count them out of it again, but, you know, the reigning champs are still the reigning champs until somebody det- dethrones them. Uh, you you, you got to go with Peyton Manning and... and and what he's able to do and his the team that they have in, in Indianapolis, but if there's anybody I think in the AFC that can can remove them, it may be it may be the San Diego Chargers. Uh, on the def- on the NFC side of it, man, you know Seattle. It's there's I don't I, I really Seattle is it's a team that uh, people are going to have to reckon with. Um, obviously, uh, Chicago is is back there, but there's a team. There's a team again back down in that Lone Star State, man. That's <laughs> that's doing some good things this off season. Did some good things this off season, and yep. and if they stay healthy, and with that defense, I think that the big the big letdown for them last year was the second half of the season was their defense. And you know, uh, Wade Phillips is a defensive guru, and they've made some acquisitions and, and drafts. Uh, this off season that could help that defense, and if he he pans out to be that great defensive coach like he is, and everything stays intact offensively, then we're gonna make some noise, man. So don't be surprised if the Cowboys are there. Tony Dorsett, thank you for joining us on the I ninety five Morning Show. Round of applause. Yay for me, my hero. <laughs>